My long-awaited book, Astrology Realized, is finally available and waiting for you at Amazon and other online retailers. Get one for you, your loved one, or as a gift. All part of your fabulous journey to understanding astrology. Enjoy. Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for October 2013 general focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Next month, now I know I have to focus more on October and there is a lot going on this month, but really you have to think that this entire month is actually building you towards what's taking place in the early part of next month. And I want to delve more into that when we get there. But let's just say next month you've got a total solar eclipse happening in your sign and whatever takes place now, yes, it's important. And I will, of course, talk about it in a second and talk about how to navigate it to your advantage. And yet I do feel like there are such big breakthroughs and big beginnings that are coming up for you once that solar eclipse hits that in many ways, the best way that you can use this time is to strive to be as silent as possible strive to reflect as much as possible and focus more like really more than anything the best advice I can give you is to focus your attention as much as possible on really letting go of what you don't want to carry into the future because if you can start to practice that stance right the stance of non-attachment if you will if you can start to practice this idea of non-attachment, this idea that everything is to your benefit and whatever needs to leave so you can create space for something new to come in is a good thing. If you can start to interact with your world from that state of heart, then you are going to find yourself next month really riding a wonderful wave into a lot of opportunities and a lot of new beginnings. It's if you try to hold on too tightly, especially over the month of October, that the universe is going to need to do something particularly dramatic to get your attention. It's dramatic enough as it is next month. This month, how you can help yourself the most is to, instead of giving into any kind of dramatic tendencies that start to just show themselves the further and further that you get into the month, instead of giving into those very dramatic tendencies, even just a little bit, Instead, if you can strive to see how the things that are changing now, the things that are asking for your attention, which in large part, it looks like are happening on very much on a heart level, happening very much in your own time, in your own space, happening very low key as well. All of those things that are taking place to just allow them to happen, to allow yourself to reflect and in some cases reflect very deeply. It does look like for a lot of you, there is a very strong ambition. There's a very strong desire to succeed. And it does look like you are able to certainly summon the energy that you need to push your life forward. But your most effective course of action is going to see as much as yes, I do see some progress happening. Largely, it's based on what you've already done. That impetus that you have to push for the new, if you can instead direct that towards your own reflection, your own understanding, um, your own sort of concepts of what it is your future could most optimistically hold, then that's going to help you the most as well. There is a restless tendency as you start the month, and that is part of this push that I'm talking about, that desire to push. Direct that inward, direct that towards whatever spiritual practice you have, direct that towards an understanding that really there are a lot of unseen forces or even people that you're not aware of who are working feverishly on your own behalf instead of feeling like you must take action, you must, you must. Ease up on that conversation a little bit. Let the tide go out. Let the flow take place for you. When we get you to the middle of the month, the focus seems to be more on your environment and things that seem to be changing in your environment. And this is where you really have to trust even more because it does look like it is wise for you personally to take a stance of non-attachment, to go with the flow and try to relax a little bit, not get caught up in anything. But it does look like there is likely to be towards the second half of the month, some sort of a misunderstanding where someone thinks that because of your, um, your spiritualness, if you will, because of your ability to go with the flow, that that in some way demonstrates that you don't care. 
Of course, there are ways to make that clear. There are ways to make that distinction clear. And largely, this perception is about their perception and their stuff. So you can choose not to take that on. You don't have to get yourself in an emotional frenzy in order to demonstrate that you care to yourself or to anyone else. There are changes taking place, whether it's the work environment, whether it's the daily ways in which you interact with your world. There are changes taking place. And when I say that there's a person who is... Um, as I just described, a person who wonders if you actually care. This person seems too involved in your life on that sort of daily level. So this could be somebody in your work environment or somebody that you're just used to seeing on a regular basis at your gym or as you go about your little rituals, your daily little habits as you go about your day. Regardless, it looks like in the bigger picture, it matters very little. And a lot of what takes place that seems so important and so pressing this month is largely unimportant. What is important is the new you that is gearing up to launch. So keep your focus now on whatever it is that you need to see about yourself, wherever karmic ties need to close, wherever you can understand that, you know what, actually maybe you thought that there was some karma that needed to continue, but it has reached its culmination, it has reached its conclusion. And to let that go, find that peace within your heart that comes from not only not being attached, but knowing that there is space for new and wonderful. Because really, that's what you are building towards. And I'll tell you, the launch that's coming up is truly big. This is a time to get honest with yourself, not only about what goes, but also to build that joy and that excitement that comes that from knowing that joy and that enthusiasm that comes from knowing that the best is yet to be. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.